Welcome to another edition of MCash Strategy. Today we will be doing part one in my guide to home study. In this episode, I will be discussing the types of materials that you will need in order to prepare fully for the MCAT without a prep course. So whenever someone decides to write the MCAT, the issue always comes up of whether to prepare on their own or pay for a commercial prep course. The primary advantage to home study is lower cost because prep courses cost quite a bit and that cost can often be prohibitive for students. The second advantage to home study is that it gives you a great deal of flexibility because sometimes prep courses are not offered in certain cities and in addition even if it is offered you may not be able to make the class at the particular time so home study offers you the flexibility of studying whenever you want and wherever you want one of the disadvantages to home study is that it is less structured and sometimes people like to have that structure and be told what to learn at what point and structure also helps to keep you on pace the other disadvantage is that it is more difficult to gauge progress and therefore it is easier to fall behind in home study situations Remember that studying for the MCAT on your own is not the best route for everybody. So you need to clearly evaluate your personality, your learning style, and your work ethic and decide for yourself whether this is a good option for you. So as I said in one of my other videos, the first thing you will need is a good study environment. And that's particularly important because it is easy to procrastinate with the MCAT when you're studying on your own. You will also need a strong sense of motivation and a solid work ethic because you will be working by yourself and pushing yourself throughout the process. Of course, you need to be able to learn independently. Some people learn better in classes and in small group situations while other people can pop open a textbook and learn things on their own. So the first thing you will need is primary materials. The purpose of primary materials is to prepare you for the science sections and to give you basic instruction for verbal reasoning and writing sample. One option is to buy materials from a prep course like Princeton or Kaplan since they usually have a large volume of learning material and they are usually very well designed. Many students upon completion of their prep course will look to sell their materials and the cost can vary depending on the condition of the materials, location and other factors. So check eBay, pre-medical forms, Craigslist, classmates and Facebook marketplace for example and those places you will often find second-hand prep materials from courses. The other obvious option is commercial books and commercial books vary in quality so you will need to do your homework beforehand. The one that I am most familiar with is the Kaplan Premier Program. It is updated every year and in general it is a very solid book for MCAT preparation. Exam Crackers is very to the point. It's very colorful which is helpful and it contains only the material that you will need. However, it is probably not the best series if you're learning material for the first time because a lot of the times when you're learning something you want other details in order to get a better understanding of the overall picture but exam crackers is very to the point and is more of a summary and is great for review but not good for learning things from scratch another company offering materials is gold standard the format and layout is pretty bland, but it's useful and does the job it's supposed to. However, the additional materials that they attempt to package with the gold standard primary book are really not necessary in my opinion. 
the Princeton Review has their Cracking the MCAT CBT book, but I don't have experience with it personally. But if you see it in a bookstore and it looks promising, Princeton Review is one of the big companies out there that specializes in test preparation. So there are a lot of commercial options, so make sure you read reviews on pre-medical forums beforehand and check them out before you buy them because some books are better than others and some products are just plain bad or maybe outdated. So for these commercial products, check Amazon.com, your local bookstore, and if you want to save even more, you can check eBay, your local classifieds, or check with your classmates to see if they have any material to sell secondhand. The MCAT in general doesn't change from year to year and therefore even though materials are a couple years old they can still be very useful and are often a better value. So the primary materials will give you most of the content that you will need to learn for the MCAT. For the verbal reasoning section, you will need good practice material in order to refine your skills. And I recommend Exam Crackers 101 Verbal Reasoning Passages. The practice is very high quality and almost everyone who has used it agrees that it is a good simulation of what you will find on the MCAT. For the writing sample, the primary materials and hopefully my videos will give you the basics of how to approach the writing sample. After you get the fundamentals down, all you need is practice and the AAMC puts online a large list of practice writing sample prompts that you can go to in order to get practice prompts. Remember to have someone who is good at writing proofread your essays and give you feedback in order for you to improve. It is really hard to critique your own essays without bias and getting another set of eyes to read over and critique your writing it will improve your writing in the long term. And of course, once you have prepared for all of the sections, you should be doing practice tests. And the official MCAT practice computer-based test can be ordered from the AAMC website. So that's just a quick run-through of the type of materials that you will need in order to prepare yourself properly for the MCAT. In conclusion, if the hard work and time is put in, people who study on their own are just as well prepared as those who take prep courses. However, it is very difficult at times to stay motivated, especially if you're a student and you're on summer break. It's hard for you to sit down for a couple hours every day and study hard. So the bottom line is, if you're going to choose the option of studying on your own, you must be honest with yourself and honest about your work ethic and your ability to stay motivated. That's all for this video. Any suggestions, comments, or discussion is welcome. As always, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, keep on practicing. This is MCAT Strategy, logging off.